Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell from the title, this video is me opening my new Cambridge mask, which I got sent as a replacement for one of mine that broke. This is how the Cambridge Mask Pro comes boxed. Most of them are pros. Um, they filter out pollution, viruses and bacteria, which is great for me because I have a rubbish immune system and also I'm allergic to pollens and smells, amongst many other things. So in the box there are a few diff a few things that come in it so obviously the mask will come in this is the newton uh due to the coronavirus most of the masks if not all the masks are out of stock from people buying them but luckily they had one left in storage that they could send to me to replace my other one so I'll open this up. It's in a bag to keep it fresh. So this is the mask. I'll put it on in a second. And at the bottom it has, oh, if you can see, it has those loops that you can use to adjust them, which I find really helpful because some of the other masks I've tried don't fit properly because they don't have adjustable things. I've had to sew the ear loops to make them smaller on a couple of my other masks. So I really like having the toggles. Also in the box is a head strap. It has Velcro, you probably can't see, but it has Velcro and you loop it round the ear loop and then velcro it onto itself and then you do that the other side and then it has this which is another toggle which you pull to make it shorter if you need to it's just to help keep the mask on better i don't use it but it can be helpful for some people and then there is also a user manual in the mask if you need some help with fitting or getting the right size or anything like that and it actually shows how the mask works with what, what's in it that makes it filter out everything and about the valve which helps remove moisture when it's hot environments or humidity. And then finally is a warranty card so you can sign up for a one year warranty and they will replace the mask if it breaks which is what they did for my other one was wasn't their fault it broke put it through the washing machine and the valve fell off it's not supposed to go through the washing machine but it smelled like chlorine because i've been swimming to wash the mask you just use some warm water and some soap, just like plain soap, rub it in and then wash it all off, make sure it's all washed off. I have found that it does take a few days to dry, so if you need to wear the mask when you go out, make sure you wash it when you have a few days at home, just to give it time to dry. You don't need to wash the mask after every use. I definitely don't. I only wash it occasionally um, if I feel it needs it or it's got something on it. And finally, I'll do the fitting of the mask. I have been told that it can be quite hard to understand me, so sorry if that happens. Um, you just loop it over your ears and then pull on the toggles for it to fit. 
So I've got it on and then I'm just going to pull the toggle to tighten it. I only do it a little bit to start off with and then you press down. It has a metal bit in here which goes over the bridge of your nose to keep it sealed and then I know that this mask is too loose. I can feel the air coming out the sides and just from experience I know that it's not fitting properly at the moment. So I'm going to just pull on the ear loops and now I'm finding that it's steaming up my glasses so I just need to adjust it a little bit. It can seem a bit fiddly at first but once you have the toggles all done then it's quite easy to fit. So this is fitting nicely now. There aren't any leaks that I can feel. It's not steaming up my glasses and it's fitting nicely. One thing you will find is it feels quite weird to begin with. You can feel the air on your face and sometimes it feels like the mask is leaking but it's not. If you put your fingers around the side you can feel whether it's leaking or not. It's just where you're breathing out because it has to filter everything then it takes a while for it to come out of the mask. That's what partially what the valve is for so it does feel really weird on your face to begin with and a lot of times I have felt that it's leaking but it's not. So that's it for this video. Make sure you hit subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram and I will see you next time.